all right so welcome back to another video and in this one finally microsoft flight sim 2020 is out it is on the uh the game pass on pc so yeah definitely checking this one out i've actually been looking forward to to playing this because i i'm one of those people that i can get sucked into the black hole of just google maps and bing maps and all that you know the the really cool map apps and everything and i've done like vr map apps like street side you know going down the street and you know a little bit by a little bit and everything um it's always fun to find your house you know and, and all that stuff and everything so um vr is always a really crazy one of like the oculus with the uh you know like you put your cell phone inside and you got the goggles and all that stuff um so i guess there's going to be a vr mode for this also which will be very interesting to see um unfortunately there's no psvr support because this is only it's a microsoft it's microsoft's flight sim 2020 so the only way i could do vr in this would be to get vr system for the pc which those are really expensive anyways um so this is on the xbox and the pc highly highly recommend going with the pc version because this game is gorgeous uh so in this video i'm going to learn how to fly a plane first of all because it's been a long time since i've actually done like flight sim uh i've done a lot of like gta and some ace combat some star wars you know different different games uh battlefield so a lot of these different games that have like arcade style you know flight patterns and everything it has been it's been definitely before flight sim x uh since i've played a flight sim game i think it was like windows 95 or 98 somewhere in there was the last time <laughs> it's been a good number of years so uh we're gonna learn first how to start the plane second half fly the plane i also got this on easy mode because uh this this really i mean you have to get like temperature gauges and gas checks and light checks and switch che and all that stuff so we're gonna see how this goes i already i did go through i set this all up sayings wise and everything i checked around a couple of different planes and and all that i don't know much about planes i will say Th this is like this is my one field of expertise that is very lacking this is just my own personal experience and my god it's taken forever to load um but one thing that i have turned on also in this and this is why i really was wanting to get like the whole experience of this game <clears throat> was uh and and like get it to where you know you can connect to the internet and and have everything at your at your fingertips is because you actually have real air traffic control which literally took 90 gigs to install which is so dumb it's so dumb it's 150 gigs so anybody out there it's 150 gigs to load the game in onto your hard drive it's another like 91 and a half gigs of an update for like air traffic control and audio files and um i don't know i guess it's just getting this the cloud servers working properly so yeah we should be seeing other planes in vicinity of my planes that are real flights happening all right so first of all first thing we're gonna do i gotta give myself some game volume um first thing we're gonna do flight training because i have i this is a simulator i have no idea we got we gotta figure out how to do all this stuff uh training for uh, we're leaving out arizona it looks like sedona arizona airborne 6400 feet oh this looks cool all right um uh, train get to know your aircraft environment this training session will familiarize with basic controls to spread your wings i tell you like game pass on the pc is is really good for the selection of games but there is some of these games like the halo master chief collection now flight sim they when it's first party xbox game studio titles it's you got to really watch out for them so in this training you learn about the following aileron flaps rudder elevator i know flaps and rudder a aileron I, I don't even know how to pronounce that elevator that's the flap on the back that goes up and down that makes you climb and drop so what happens if we go too far up do we just flow out in the space and then do, 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 and it, it just we're gone or just took like an actual five minutes for this thing to load 
Um, so hopefully this is going to run smooth. Uh, all right, so we got a little plane here. Ready to fly. Uh oh. Welcome to flight training. The ring. I'm your instructor, Captain Molina, but you can just call me Jess. This session will get started with some plane. basic controls. Sound good? Looks like it is. First things first. Ring. Let's get familiar kind with your slow. surroundings. Don't worry. I've got the stick while you get your bearings. Out your side windows, you can see we have great visibility over Sedona today. Uh oh, what's my controls? Oh, there we go. Is it running smooth? No, all right, it's running smooth. It's running right. Cool. There, there's nobody in the plane! Ah! ah I'm not even here! Ah! Out your side windows. You can see we have great visibility over Sedona today. Cool. So this is supposed to be like real weather patterns and everything in this too. I wonder, but for the training, I wonder if it's just preset. Air drop, uh, control left, or control plus right for a quick view out the side windows, right? And then control space. Ooh, this is, uh, this is having a bit of a tough out time loading. side windows. You can see we have great visibility over Sedona today. Uh, yes, yes, I heard you the first time. So, what is it? Control, that. Control plus left. This is Red Rock territory. There. Beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, but this is running a little bit shoddy. So, hold on a second. Uh, we're going to have to. All right, so it punched it down from 2K down to 1080. And things seem to be running a lot more smoother. Um, so, the only thing is, uh, I'm, I'm a little short here. That's kind of cool. I can do that. Um, let me see. Use left up to translate the camera inside. Ah, there we go. Yeah, I was, I was feeling kind of short in my seat here. I'm going to be a six foot, or I'm going to be a seven foot giant in the middle of these. <laughs> so I can really see what the hell is going on. Um, also pitch. Wait, how do I. For starters, how do I yoke it? And yep. the ailerons, they allow the plane to roll and bank into turns. Uh, okay. Go ahead and try rolling to the right. Number s I have to use a number pad for this? What? Oh, we are nice. using number pad to... Now let's see you level back out. Uh, sure. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh, no. Oh, no, 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 four, four, four. Can't tell if it's, I feel like this is really meant for a flight stick. Could I use my mouse Good. to do this instead? Of course, the yoke also controls the elevator and the elevator affects the plane's pitch, right? Uh-huh. Back on the stick, the plane starts to climb. Oh, yeah. Give it a shot. Okay. Yep. Oop. The most valuable things in aviation are speed and altitude. Speed and momentum and all that, right? Yeah. But notice when you're pitching up, oh, your no. speed is decreasing. Oh. Okay, so that's why you can't fly in the atmosphere. Or for now, oh, this is like pitch down. this is like a uh, snow rider, where it felt way better to play just with like a that, your speed with a steering wheel. Up again is Yaw. Yaw, yaw. On the ground, oh, oh. those pedals are gonna you left Wrong buttons. Wrong buttons. I just crashed. On the ground, those pedals are gonna steer the plane left We already right. crashed. Here, this is running really turns. rough right now. Dashboard is aligned three to four inches below the horizon for a cruise attitude. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, there's a very distinctive... I'm trying to. Oh no. Oh no. So there's a lag on the controls between when the plane actually turns and how long you gotta press the button for. Could you please just level out? Just level out. Ah. 
Use yoke to. Jeez. Mm. Yeah, this game is gonna be a lot easier to play okay, with a flight, flight stick. Unfortunately. Throttle. Decrease throttle to cut engine power. Use throttle lever. Don't I have to look at that though? Turn on, turn off. Mix control. I feel like I'm going downwards. Let's see what happens when you cut all the power. I'm trying to figure out where the hell it's at. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. No, you don't. It's doing it again. I'm barrel rolling. Ah, okay. All right, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're fighting me, plane. Stop fighting me. Damn it. I'm trying to. Let's see what happens when you cut all the power. I just wanted to go flying. I just wanted to see the sights. And this is a pain in the ass to try and do on a keyboard. <sighs> second, just second, look. Whoop. Yeah. I did it. There you go. Speed is increasing, and as long as we maintain the same attitude, our altitude will keep climbing. Too. Attitude and altitude. That's right. You're really getting the hang of your controls. <laughs> you left the training airspace. You need to go back. <laughs> I'm really getting the hang of. Oh, long, geez. You won't even need a co-pilot. Oh, sh oh, sure. Until then, if you want, you left the training airspace. You need to go back. I don't know where the training airspace is. Oh, sure. Left the training airspace, you need to go back. I am trying to figure out where in the Until fuck. Until then, if you want help with the radio or checklists or simply flying the plane, <laughs> I'll be here. <laughs> <laughs> I am such a great pilot that, yeah, I don't need any, any assistance at all. Such a great pilot. The most professional pilot ever. Also, it is kind of hard to control this too. I will say on a keyboard, like I said, the, there's like, it almost, it feels like there's a dead zone between, because there's a lag between when you hit the button and when the plane actually reacts to it. So it's definitely, it's, it's almost like trying to tap out drums on a drum pad versus like playing real drums. It's one of those things. Um, Okay, so so far the uh, the experience has been absolutely phenomenal. I've crashed a plane twice. Uh, we've had some graphics stutters. Um, so the reason why I kind of give this a benefit of a doubt in a way is because of it is doing something that no other game really is doing right now, and that is using cloud-based technology to create the game world. So there is going to be some hiccups. There is going to be some stutterings. Um, I did just plug in the controller that made the game crash. So we're going to see if the controller will actually do anything. If it'll work, it did, um, before the game crashed, it did recognize the controller. Everything swapped over to the Xbox layout. So there is that. Now we're going to see if this will actually read the controller. It's weird because like, I don't want to give away my position of where I actually did grow up because it's just like, I can't stand the place I grew up. Uh, <laughs> that's, uh, that's, that's one. I mean, people already know it. If you grew up with me and you're watching this at any time, any point, you know, I couldn't stand where the hell we grew up at. It's just like, eh, I just want to be somewhere else. Starting to look kind of, kind of right. And yeah, we're about halfway, halfway there. It took about an hour. It took about an hour. Let me, uh, that was oversteered. This is all hell. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. All right. I'm not trying to go upwards. Pull up, pull up, pull up. We are so close to... There we go, there we go, there we go. No, oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. I would, I would readjust the damn plane right next to... Oh, I hit the wrong button! Let's 
Stop the main engine. How? <laughs> what was the button again? Oh no. What was the button? Oh no. I am like, I am upside down. Shut engine. Shift control E. Shift control E. <sighs> Is there a flip over button? Can I, can I flip this bad boy over? I just landed in the middle of... I mean, I got into the right state. <laughs> uh, you know, I made it to the right state. All right. So, uh, the final thing of this video is unlimited fuel and limited range. Nice. We're going to try and do a fly around of the area I grew up around. So this is, uh, yeah, this looks a little weird. Uh, not exactly. Doesn't exactly look great. Uh, do the brake. So electronic master. Um, yeah, see, this is the kind of stick I kind of wanted to get uh, for the computer for this. Um, okay, I did that. So can I just go? I think. Was that not? That is not the thrall. This is thrall. This, this is throw. There we go. Good outdoor view. Uh, okay, this airport is definitely not this big IRL. I don't think it is anyways. I never actually, so the funniest part is I've never actually been in this airport. Um, funny one too, if you know who Viper is, he actually worked on this airport. All right, let's do it. Can I bring in the landing gear? Nope. Okay. Stall. Stall. Whoa. <laughs> Oh no. Seriously? Am I just... I feel like I'm just too low. Oh no! Can I... Number pad zero enter. What? Oh no, oh no, oh no. I just crashed into somebody's house. Okay, we're gonna try this one more time. Control, delete, do I do the parking? So then I just looked it up. So this ups the engine a bit. To get you rolling. So here's how we're going to try and do it. We're going to try and do like a drone shot, basically. Why does it keep trying to stall on me? Oh no. Raise landing gear. Are you serious? Oh. I need a different damn plane, man. This plane sucks. Jeez. It just keeps trying to stall out and everything. Ugh. And actually, in, in all honesty, I don't need the plane with the big window on it because I'm outside. I got the outside view going on. So, so the crazy part about this one is I have literally, um, technically this, this part of the airport, I've literally seen and been past this part of the airport thousands of times you know what it probably is is i don't have enough speed or speed Whoop. i 
Okay. All right. All right. All right. Don't sink. Don't sink. Why? All right, so just a really quick uh, little update, I guess, to this video. Um, of course, right after I turn out the microphone and everything, I plugged in the controller, and guess what? It's so much easier to use in the mouse and keyboard. We're going to do this. We're going to let the brakes go. Uh, there we go. There we go. Brakes are good. Um, this actually feels a lot like GTA flying the way that they had this except for the back rudder left and right um, as you can see yeah this feels this actually feels really smooth on the controller so I highly recommend if you play this on the PC um, definitely plug in an Xbox controller into this if you got one lying around and uh, it should just very easily let you take off and the computer's just trying its hardest to keep up here hold on boom so yeah this is uh the point of the video right here this is this is basically where i grew up was this was this area right here um definitely this is a very rough estimate of the area um these are these houses look absolutely nothing like it <laughs> Um, but yeah, this, this was, this was the neighborhood right here. And of course, I'm not going to say exactly where, but this was the neighborhood right here. Um, yeah, suburbs, a lot of memories all throughout here. I want to actually turn this down. Um, Trying to like cut the engines back some so I can slow down a bit. I was trying to look for the school. Ah, right here. This was my high school right here. <laughs> yep. Oh man. And that's the police station right across the street from it where we, uh, we had many run-ins and some talent show stuff went on down here. This is, yep, a little bit of a, a minor leagues baseball field right here. Yeah, a lot of memories. A lot of memories. Just a, just a normal little town. Um, and it's not... Ah, I got so much beeping going on. What the hell? Um... Like, I wasn't expecting this to be, like, highly detailed at all because it is, you know, it's it's not exactly the most... Man, this thing is having a hell of a time trying to load. Um, not exactly the most popular place ever or anything. But, yeah, this is cool. This is cool. Um, another... Oh yeah, the, the interstate. I used to ride the bus all the way down the street. Oh yeah, first thing in the morning, you rode the bus all the way, all the way down through. Uh, not quite sure what building that is. I think it's just because I'm I'm flying flying very slowly, and I also need to get my altitude up, and I am going to crash. It's going to happen. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so I'm trying to find. Oh, my God. Plane. Seriously. Oh, yeah. It's not. It's not loading anything. So a lot of these buildings are not at all what the buildings would actually look like around here. Yeah, none of these buildings actually actually look like what they should. Do I have the landing gear? No. Kind of wondering where. Okay, if we had downtown. 
So this is what we call the downtown area. So this is like the, the place where if you want to get in trouble, you'd go down here. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. So a lot of my, a lot of my buddies that we used to get in trouble with all the time, they live down here. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it's the waterfront, the very famous waterfront, where a lot of concerts and fireworks and everything be going on. It's a lot less detailed than most other places, of course, because of uh, just the, the the less irrelevance. So again, this is on the controller. Um, it is not mouse and keyboard, and it just it feels more or less like a GTA. I think they're all yelling at me to uh, to get the hell out of the airspace. <laughs> I'm looking around. Jeez. So I thought the the one thing about this I will say is it's cool that they actually have the map is constructed. It looks noticeable. But it's definitely not detailed. And that's the one thing. I bet you if we fly over to New York, which I will definitely be doing in another video, and then you'll you'll notice just how much more I know about New York than I do of, of this place right here. Um, but you'll notice that New York is going to be way more detailed. Like, all those are should be cars. Cars just like floating around and everything. It, it could also be because I have medium sayings on, like like all the detailing is medium sayings, and you see just how much of a graphics hog this game is. But this is cool just to, just to check out, though. I'm like I said, I'm gonna tweak sayings and everything now. I figure this out. So anyways, I don't want to go too much too much longer. Yeah, I'm going to fly back one more time. Um, back over my area. Oh yeah, that's the uh, that's actually the elementary school. <laughs> that's the elementary school where I went to that large building down there. What's crazy is um, there's a lot of these houses that are actually gone from here. Is the airport? Airport taken over. Yeah. Traveled this street many times. And then, uh, where a lot of the original Warwolf content came from, what was the GameStop that was located, or that it's still actually located, uh, roughly, oh, where is it? Roughly over in this area over here. Yeah, see, this is not, <laughs> this is not detailed at all. Um, so it's, I say that, so I can see the street, uh, the street mapping is there. So it's definitely taken the, uh, so the Azure servers are definitely taking the street mapping off from, off from like Google maps or whatever, or probably, well, Bing maps would be because it's Microsoft. Um, and it's doing an all right job of mapping the streets. It's just the buildings have no detail. There's like nothing there. Um, I'm gonna try and swing back around to yeah right here. I'm gonna try and land this plane. I'm try and land this plane. 
here we go. This is the proper way to end this video. We are gonna land a plane. One, two, one decimal, one yeah, yeah, yeah. diamond X ray golf Sierra. I don't know what you're talking about. What? To extend flaps for landing, press F8. Delta, I need to slow down. I need to cut the engines. Why is this thing? Oh man, I really I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to optimize this for. I have to really optimize this. This is I mean this is looking this is make my computer look really rough. Let's uh, fly to break. Uh, break. Break. Yep. Oh jeez, this is the worst landing ever. I'm gonna die. Oh god. Ah. I'm not dead. I did it. I landed. Ha ha. Yeah. And then exit runway. I don't know how to do all that stuff. Anyways, this has been Flight Sim 2020. Very first video. I'm, I'm like I said. I'm probably gonna be doing a whole bunch of videos on this. Um, now I got hands on with it and everything. This is uh, this is a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. I want to check out so many more places now I can actually control the damn thing. So uh, again, um, I'm probably just going to roll this, the, the video that I had before. And uh, yeah, 